Here we go then. Namba Satan at the back, just making sure he's bang on dead right. The, the position that Wayne has to take on that bike has to be millimetre perfect. Howard Gregory at the back there with the starter motor moves to one side. Kevin Schwartz to the left of our screen. To Wayne's left is Mick Doohan. To Doohan's left is Kenny Roberts Sr. Of course, Kenny Roberts Jr. also won a 500cc Grand Prix World Championship. In gear then, we've got it in gear. Wayne Rainey is ready for the launch. There they go, the launch up the road. So onto the hill we go then, 1.86 kilometres of a racetrack for these guys to go, and he gasses it up from the start. Wayne Rain, he's got doing five times Honda world champion alongside him. They are riding. Oh, look at this. This is just, honestly, I've got to say, you will never see pictures like this ever again. This is a one-off. The Duke of Richmond has put together something for me that is more than iconic. It really is. Oh, get on it. Wayne Rainey then gasses out the smoke out the back, of course. The fuel and oil are mixed as one in a two-stroke motorcycle. For those of you that are wondering why the, the things are smoking as much as they are, we're on four strokes now, but these are the old-fashioned two strokes. They were quick. Two and a half thousand revs are, are, are about the power band. We talk about being on the pipe. People that are talking about cars, usually talk, a four-stroke motor, are talking about being on the cam. He goes again. He looks so absolutely normal. You wouldn't guess a disability was with him at all. I think that's Paris that's bringing up the rear as well. And uh, up by the flint wall, this is all going to be over far too soon. You can see it again a little bit later in the day. I'm wondering who that is. That's Danny Petro... Who's on the back bike? It can't be Pedrosa, can it? I did hear that uh, yeah. Pedrosa might be here. If Danny Pedrosa is on the back of this group, we've got another superstar there as well. Uh, we haven't really had a clear look at that to see who that is with us. Doing pops a little wheelie, gives you some idea of how quick the power picks up on these bikes. Most of them are running uh, training tyres on the back, like I say, to try and get some heat in them. This is a demonstration run, remember. Kevin Schwantz yesterday couldn't help himself but try and get past the chequered flag first. Oh, he's doing it again, trying to sneak up into the shot as they come out of the heat haze. Onto the finish line, Doohan pops a wheelie. Kenny Roberts on the left on the 99 bike. Of course, the 99 bike was Jeremy McWilliams who was on that KR3 back in the day, the uh, Northern Irishman. You're right, it is Danny Pedrosa yes. at the back. You can tell by stature, Danny current, is tiny. Current racer. And, well, uh, he's a test rider now for KTM, yes. so he's a tester, but he's a, he's a special kind of guy. 1993, Mizano, the Italian Grand Prix at Mizano circuit. Terrible situation at the time, and... Uh, 30 years later, he's back, he's on the hill, reunited with his 1992 championship winning. Remember, he won the, the 500cc Grand Prix championship, which is the equivalent of MotoGP. 500cc is morphed into MotoGP, for those of you much younger than I. Um, the fact of the matter was, he was a superstar then, and he is a superstar now. He's had so much to cope with in his life. As the boys come across the gravel then towards Goodwood House to escort Wayne Rainey to Goodwood House. Yeah, no, this is going to be a wonderful moment. Oh, and... a little bit. You, Kevin Schwantz. Yeah. Uh, he is, uh, honestly, I've ridden with him. He is an, a hooligan on the loose stuff as well. I mean, Kevin Schwantz, he might be, he might look a little long in the tooth now, but he can still ride motorbikes. These guys have forgotten more about uh, riding the motorcycle than most people ever know. Outside Goodwood House, then, for the first time, the Grand Prix bikes line up. So those bikes have been moved back into position, which is lovely to see. Um, bikes from the 1990s, predominantly, that uh, led these guys to their titles. I think this is a mark of what we're seeing here at the Duke of Richmond's house. The, the, the fans that have gathered to, to see this and to celebrate Wayne Rainey, to celebrate his achievement back in 1991 and 92, and what he's achieved since then he is the boss of moto america he is trying to bring a series back to the fore for motorcycles motorcyclists in america unfortunately they've dropped off the edge we've got a couple of riders that uh, are quite good in uh, moto 2 uh, cameron bovier is the very latest to come across the 28 year old american that again is a, a product of moto america wayne and his team are really bringing those on over there and trying to promote the pinnacle of motorcycling in MotoGP and bring it back to America as well. Whether he'll achieve that, we don't know, but certainly thanks to Wayne Rainey, it is happening now, slowly but surely. Well, it's lovely, to, and uh, we are going to be joining the action down here in just a few moments. It's lovely to see so many fans gathered together in that area now, just hoping to get some great photographs, some videos of a very special moment here, something that perhaps we might never have imagined actually seeing. Oh, and here we go, big, big round of applause beginning to build up now as Wayne Rainey appears. Let's go over and hear from him. 
No, look at the guns. Good afternoon, everybody. Please give a huge round of applause for these four gentlemen with 12 world championships between them. Mick Doohan, Kevin Schwantz, Kenny Roberts, and Wayne Rainey. <laughs> Wayne, I'm gonna start, start with you. Your first time here at the Festival of Speed. How fantastic has it been to be reunited with that you know, the Marlboro Yamaha is down there. For anyone who, who's downstairs and hasn't seen it, do have a look. How amazing has it been to be reunited with your old bike? Wow, it's, it's absolutely amazing. I never thought after 30 years that I would be back on this bike with these, uh, with my competitors and, and rivals that I battled so hard. But being in this setting, it's like we're all buddies now. It's really amazing. We're having a great time. So it was, uh, it was perfect. And I mean, I have to be honest, when you, when you first went up uh, a couple of days ago, understandably, it all it looked gingerly and steady, but I have to say, it might have been nearly 30 years, but the racing brain started to kick in. The, uh, the, the, the throttle was being opened a bit more. Was that, is, is, that instinct, uh, is that instinct kicking in, even, even on a, a demonstration like this? Well, the first run, I had to make sure the old man Roberts could stay up. That's why I went so slow, but... <laughs> no, but actually, uh, yeah, the first couple times, it was very gingerly, and I was, you know, not sure where the track went, not sure about the balance, and, and uh, you know, it's a, it's a 500cc two-stroke. I haven't ridden a long time, so you have to be very careful with it. But now that I've been up the hill uh, five or six times, I believe it is, overall, that last run today was the first wheelie I've done in 30 years, and then coming out of these double rides, my... Throttle hand was saying go, but my brain was saying no. So I'm glad I listened to the to the head. Yes. Uh, excellent. Uh, Kenny, can I? They're chatting, obviously. The reunion. Um, can I ask you? How, you you played such a huge part in Wayne's career. You know, all the way into those three world championships. How cool is it for you to be here and, and witnessing? First of all, the reunion of these three guys from that era of the 90s, uh, and just to ride alongside Wayne over the weekend. Well, he wanted me to toss Swans off of here so earlier. I guess they made up now. So there's no words that can describe what this guy's done in my life. It seems like riding on the racetrack now with him, the last 30 years has just disappeared. You know, I, it, it's, uh, it's hard to describe the emotions, and I'm not really emotional. Uh, but, but the emotions watching this guy ride a motorcycle with these guys, I mean, it, it can't get any better than that, really. And Kevin, you know, for someone like myself who grew up watching motorbike racing, it was a big thing, the schwanz rainy rivalry, the two Americans, and it wasn't just at the top class. I remember Brands Hatch, you guys, and things like that. It's, um, it must be special for you to have a reunion here as well, isn't it? Oh, a absolutely. To get back on a motorcycle, uh, you know, to come back to Goodwood and to ride when, when Wayne gets on a 500 for the first time uh, is amazing. I've seen the back of that Marlboro Yamaha enough, and I got to see it again today. So a little bit like old times, but, um, yeah, I mean, it was great. Mick there, Kenny there, just made it that much more special. And all you fans, great to have you here. Mick, you, you, your era of dominance sort of came off the back of these guys winning their championships, but you were all intertwined in that, that era, wasn't it? So tell me about your love for good work coming back. Are we going to see you here riding more and more? How, how do you enjoy coming here? Uh, Maybe we'll let him go. <laughs> no, no, exactly. I love coming here. I haven't been here for a couple of years anyway, but with Wayne coming back to ride, I wouldn't miss that. You know, him and I battled it out with Kevin also for the, the early 90s. Unfortunately, Wayne got the better of me twice. So, but, I mean, that's all good. So to, be, to see him out there, especially then that last time, just then running up the hill, it is pretty special, even though we're all getting on, we're riding very slowly. But, I mean, to think about Wayne back on the bike, riding up here with Kevin, with Kenny, in an environment like this, it just doesn't really get any better. So um, hard to replicate, so I had to be here. And for you, Wayne, you've got your family here this, this weekend. Um, 
it must be, you know, it, it's, it's a big thing for, for your whole family, I'm sure, to experience a weekend like this and to see you back on your bike after, after everything you've gone through since, since Misano that day. Yeah, it sure has. You know, my, my wife, Shay, she, she watched me race in all those races uh, in my Grand Prix years, but I've never seen her as nervous as she was here at uh, the first time I rode. But she's, she seems to have calmed down a bit. But uh, on top of that as well, when I was injured, my son was 10 months old. And now he's here, and he's actually picking me up and lifting me onto the bike. And uh, I, that, he, you know, I, I mean, that is so special to me that he could, he could finally experience what I did throughout my career. So that is very special as well. And listen, so we've had the reunion. Are we going to see you guys coming back for more? Is this now whet your appetite to be, to be riding again on a, well, coming back every year? What, what do we think? Oh, I'm not leaving. I'm staying for sure. <laughs> this is great. The Duke of Richmond puts on a heck of a show. And uh, I mean, why not? I mean, this has been a blast. It's just incredible. I've loved every minute of it. All right, listen, enjoy the rest of the weekend. Enjoy the rest of your riding. Ladies and gentlemen, a huge round of applause for these guys. Well, a wonderful chat there from Karun Chandok with the guys and uh, such a special time for all of us here to, to soak it up and enjoy it and for Wayne Rainey to be uh, the star with his colleagues as well, all of them together.